Hey guys, so my name's Emilia, but you can call me Ia. And today I'm going to be talking about and demoing Apple's newest product, this. It's so small and it's so shiny. Cool. This is not an ordinary Apple product. This is the AirTag. And I got four of them thanks to Power Max Center. Now, as you all know, Power Max Center is one of Apple's largest premium resellers here in the Philippines. What you may not know is their established effort to connect with us students and educators. Now, how do they do so? They actually have a Viber Chat bot. And I'll be linking it down in the description below for us students and educators. And essentially there, you could subscribe to it. You could send a message anytime. And if you want to buy an Apple product or a related accessory, you can do so on the Viber chatbot. You can get it delivered to your home at an instant and you can avail of a discount for select Apple products and related accessories. Honestly guys, I got my MacBook and my iPad from Power Max Education Solutions channel and it saved me a lot of money. So I highly encourage you guys, you students, teachers, to really take advantage of this channel and avail of this discount and really subscribe to the Viber Chatbot. Again, I'm gonna be linking it down in the description below for you guys to check out. Now, okay, AirTag. I'm gonna be talking about the AirTag by answering three of your questions. What is an AirTag? How do you use an AirTag? And should you get one? So let's start with the first question. What is an AirTag? Now, the AirTag is Apple's take in the Bluetooth tracking device world. Now, what is a Bluetooth tracking device? If you've heard of Tile, Tile essentially is a company that comes up with a bunch of different Bluetooth trackers that you can leave in a keychain, you can leave in your car, you can leave in a bag, or you can leave in an item. And these tiles will talk to one another via Bluetooth and gather all the location data on as to where your device or where your item is. And it'll easily track your devices via your iPhone or your other device. Now the AirTag does the same. The only difference though is that your AirTag connects via Bluetooth to other Apple devices. So other iPads, other iPhones, other Macs, etc. And I think this is pretty cool because honestly, there are so many iPhones, there are so many iPads out in the world. And I think it is but wise to really take advantage of these devices and be able to create a network of AirTags which could be triangulated back to your own device. Now, how do you locate an item with an AirTag? You can do so on your iPhone or iPad or Mac with Find My. Now, like tracking your Apple devices, the Find My app will track your AirTags and you can easily label each AirTag to, to what device you've planted an AirTag in. So right now, I actually have an AirTag in my wallet. So I think that'll be really useful. And so I think the AirTag will really help me with, you know, tracking my wallet. Now this weighs about 11 grams. It has a diameter of three centimeters or 31.9 millimeters. And it has a depth of eight millimeters, less than a centimeter. It's very, very small if I haven't emphasized it enough. It has an IP67 rating, which means you could drop this underwater up to a meter for 30 minutes. And as I mentioned, it uses Bluetooth technology to connect to other Apple devices. So it will really you know, be integrated into that network of AirTags. It also has the U1 chip on iPhone 11 or later. It'll allow your iPhone 11 or later and the AirTag to track one another. And they'll connect via the shared U1 chip. Now the AirTag also has a speaker. And so when you go on Find My and click Play Sound to a Lost Device, your AirTag will make a sound and you can easily find the device. And you can remove the stainless steel back of the AirTag. Use two fingers to press in and twist counterclockwise and you'll be able to take the back off and access the CR2032 battery. Now, according to 9to5Mac, Apple claims that this battery would last for over a year. And if your iPhone tells you that your AirTag doesn't have battery anymore, you can easily find these CR2032 batteries in hardware stores or online. You know, any store uh, that might have this, it's very common to find this kind of battery. Okay, so maybe now you're wondering, how do you use an AirTag? So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to settings on your iPhone, click general, click about, and check if you're on iOS 14 
0.5 or later. Then you put your AirTag beside the iPhone and it will show you this interface. When you click connect, you can name the AirTag to what device you want to put your AirTag in. So for example, you could put it in a camera bag. You could even give it a custom name as you wish. In this case, I'm going to put it in a backpack. Afterwards, you'd be able to register your AirTag with your Apple ID so that you could track this AirTag not just with the iPhone but with your other Apple devices as well. Then go to the Find My app and you'd be able to track your AirTag here. As you can see, there's also a credit card emoji there and that refers to my wallet. And my wallet also has an AirTag. And if you use your backpack at home or in a place you're at, you could just play a sound and your AirTag will play the sound so you could find the item instantly. Then if you're on an iPhone XR, XS or earlier, you can click directions to get directions to your AirTag. Now if you have an iPhone 11 or later with a U1 chip, you can use the precision finding feature. Essentially, both U1 chips on the AirTag and iPhone will communicate with one another and you'd be able to track your device precisely based on direction and even proximity by foot. Super precise stuff, super cool. Now another thing I don't have but I could link down in the description for some would be AirTag accessories. So you could put your AirTag in a keychain or any other accessory available in the market. Some accessories will be linked down in in the description below. Now, last but not least, should you buy an AirTag? Now, for me personally, if you have Apple devices running iOS 14.5 or later, then this AirTag will basically work with that device. But if you have an iPhone 11 or later, I think you'd be able to really fully take advantage of this AirTag. Because with precision finding, with a U1 chip on both iPhone and the AirTag, you'd be able to track an item by direction and by the foot. So it's a really, really cool feature to have. But if you have an older iPhone, you'd still be able to um, play a sound when your device is lost or you could track the location on a map in general. That wouldn't be too much of a problem if all you're looking for is, you know, the location of a device. So overall, I highly recommend you get this thing because this is really the future. You imagine a world where, yeah, sure, you have items, you have wallets, you have bags and all that, but you don't need to worry about losing them because you know that you put an AirTag in there and that your iPhone could easily track the location. So whether your bag was stolen or you just left it in a certain location and you couldn't figure out your steps, you could save so much time by just looking at your Find My app on iPhone and see, oh, I just left my bag pala in the restaurant we ate in a couple of hours ago. And go back there instead of thinking about, oh, did I leave it in a store? Did I leave it in a restaurant? Or did I leave it on the train? So I think it would really help you save time and ultimately be able to actually find your item. I'm really excited about AirTag and the potential behind it. I think it's a great start. I think with more Apple devices coming out, more devices with Bluetooth low energy, this would really do so well in those contexts. And I'm really, really excited. And I'm really, really pumped to see a world where we don't have to worry about losing items anymore. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Again, thank you to Power Max Center for giving me this. Don't forget to subscribe to their Viber chatbot down in the description below. Get some amazing discounts for students. Get your ordered Apple products right at your doorstep in a few days. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and click the bell down beside the subscribe button to get notified every time I post something. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and catch you all in the next one.